Good morning, Codger Biker here. Let's talk about baggage. Hello. Okay, but well let's talk about this first. Um, as you know, I buy all my own stuff and uh, test it, and I only say what I what I feel when I buy things but I have noticed that when I get anything from Perron Moto it always works so I tend to go with Perron Moto uh, as a first option and particularly with the 690 Enduro R because he's a 690 Enduro R rider himself anyway I was talking to Nicola and uh, he recommended uh, for my purposes which is to keep the bike as light as possible I don't want any frames on it unless I have to so I've gone with Nicola's um, video, which uh, I shall show you. So in the interest of full disclosure, here is uh, Perimoto's own installation video of the Krieger OS 18 and Krieger OS Base, which I've gone with. Um, it's all crystal clear. You can see exactly how to do it. So I'll put a link to that video in my description, but then I'm just going to do the fitting to my bike just to see how I get on with it. It might be of interest to some people. Okay, here we go. Now my bike come, came with the uh, foot pegs, which I never bothered to fit. Um, they're okay, it just they're not that heavy. They're quality KTM parts, but I'm never going to use them. I'm not going to carry a passenger. But it does show the bike's designed to take a passenger. Uh, there is a lot of issue over the uh, tank or subframe bolts breaking on these bikes historically. I'm not sure whether the newer bikes do. But talking to Nicola, he said that uh, in his experience, which is vast, the breakage comes not, not so much from putting luggage on the bike because it's designed to take a passenger, so you can weigh the back down okay. It's more if it's weighted and you do big jumps, the back end rebounds up and that tends to wear out the, um, the bolts and they can snap on the older bikes anyway. So I won't be doing any of those jumps, but even so I wanted to keep the weight low down as he points out, if you use the Krieger straps, it actually pulls the um, subframe to the main frame. It sort of holds it all together. So very unlikely that I would ever break those bolts. The other thing to do, I was told by my local garage, is check early on that those bolts come out. So I've unscrewed them and put them back in, taught them correctly, and I'm just going to undo them every now and then because if one side corrodes, you can never get that uh, tank uh, subframe bushing at the bottom out. Um, so just something to be aware of. I'm probably teaching my grandmother to suck eggs, but uh, the mechanic at my local garage is very adamant that that needed to be done as soon as possible because he had bikes in the past where he wasn't able to get those bolts out after a few years. So just something to um, be aware of if you don't know, which you probably do. So anyway, I'm not going to use those. But these are much lighter, the pair is much lighter than even one of those. Um, so, you know, going with my lightweight and local theme, I'm going to keep it light. But there are some plastic heel guards on the bike at the moment, a bit flimsy. But they do the job, it's just stop your feet from kicking inside. So these from Perimoto being much stronger are designed to do a second job, which is if you look, there is room there for taking straps from your baggage uh, down from the rack. So beautifully designed, as always, really well made, nice and lightweight, weigh very little at all. Not going to add in much more weight to the bike than the plastic ones. Much stronger and hopefully, as we shall see, much more useful. OK, so looking at it. Um, it would appear that what you do is you use these as a spacer on the bike. The large washer and the small washer goes at the front, like so. I think that's just to keep the spacing on the bike. Also, I just watched um, a video by Tellyrover and Deacon. Uh, so shout out to Tellyrover and Deacon. I uh, should have mentioned you before. I've watched most of your videos. I have to say brilliant work. Really helpful for somebody who's just come into the 690. Keep up the good work. And I hope you're both okay. I know this hasn't been a video for a while. So just a big shout out if you're out there. Telly Rover and Deacon. Um, hope things are good. Right, getting back onto it. So the idea is these go onto the bike. And then these 
cutouts here are the magic, or they will be, we hope. Right, better get the bike out. I warn you now, it's just about to chuck it down, but uh, in fact, it is chucking it down. Oh well. Dripper that on it. Okay. Yeah, another neat thing that uh, is included with Paramoto is the uh, QR code. If you go on that, uh, as I'll demonstrate with my iPad, it takes you straight to the URL for the installation. Brilliant. You can see the large washers go there. The say Loctite can be used. It's good because I've used it. And there you go. So... Excellent, I guessed right. I actually looking at these after I fitted them, but uh, you know, that's how easy it is to find the instructions. So just for comparison, here's the uh, weight of the Peramoto heel guard, which comes out about 106 grams on my battered old scales. So this is the plastic guard supplied by KTM. That's 60 grams. So we've got only 40 grams on each side. Uh, but if you were to install the passenger pegs on the bike, well, they are 450 grams each. So you can see it's considerably lighter because uh, you could use those for the straps. Uh, obviously, you don't have to use them for passengers, but um, I prefer to install as light as light a weight as possible because two of those is a kilograms, isn't it, more or less? OK, moving on to the next part of this install. Um, Krieger supply these two... Uh, mounting systems as they call them which fit straight onto the Peramoto rack which uh, again you know it's just well thought out the racks are brilliant um, I have done a video on the rack uh, which I'll link at the end so what Nicola recommends is to remove the the two um, screws from there and replace them with a couple of M6 by 20 countersunk types because they'll fit into the um, the rack better as we'll see as we go along. So I'm going to take those out, put those in and then fit them to the bike. This flat bolt here. I think the idea is that if you, uh, on other enduro bikes, you could uh, drill the plastics, fit that on the inside, screw that on the outside. Um, if you haven't got a carrier or you haven't had the handles installed, uh, but I don't need to do that because I've got a carrier. So instead of using those, we will use, hopefully, yep, they fit. And it shows in Nicola's uh, video not to tighten them up too much. So what I might do is perhaps put a bit of thread lock on them. I don't know, we'll see. Rack loops. So you get two OS rack loops with the bags themselves. Oh, so as you probably see, it's raining, but here is the genius of uh, a Peramoto rack. You can now fit the loop. too tight but so it can still move and I can still use this rack for other things and they just sit there even took them out the way by one bags over there so bags fit on there it actually gives clear instructions that you thread it through here loop it through on the eighth one there you go Sorry, I think it was eight from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put the hook through. What tight.
Yeah, of course I missed a step because I've left it so that the strap's outside of here. What you do is loosen it off, take it out of there, feed it through there. My mistake. Then into there and tighten. Look how neat that is. Brilliant. Now, there's no weight in them at all at the moment, they're just full of polythene bags, but very good. Who said you can't go touring? Also, it keeps the weight low, and this strap keeps the back pulled down. Excellent, wonderful design. Yeah, so if I ever do get to go away again, I usually take about, generally I take about 50 litres of stuff with me. That's what I've worked out in the past with a 48 litre box and a few extras. So I'll just stick this bag on the rack at the back with anything more that I need it. It's a wet bag by Lomo. Unfortunately, although it's only two years old, it hasn't fared very well. The zip um, waterproofing is falling off. Look at that. It's just been sitting in the garage. So yeah, that's some, I'm not very happy about that. But uh, the bag itself would be excellent if it hadn't done that. This is a, a fold down waterproof bag which will fit on the rack nicely with a couple of uh, rock straps or similar so, that can go on the back of the bike maybe even that way so I can get the fuel cap so I've got a bit of extra capacity in there 36 litres with that so jobs are good in once again great work Perimoto thank you very much Nicola you know your stuff Codger Biker is out